Welcome to Did You Know Number 5. Lana has some things in the book of Genesis that she's found that she wants to share with you. All right, uh, the first one, Genesis 14, 13. 14, 13. Genesis 14 is where Abram has some kings that are fighting with him and uh, against some other kings. And it says in Genesis 14, 13, And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshkel and brother of Aner, and these were confederate with Abram. And I had a brain fart and said, Confederates are the good people. Yes! We're the yeah. good people, confederates. The confederacy, old Granny Clampett said this, the South will rise again. They were the confederates, and here's Abram and the confederates rising up against the enemies. Yes. One thing to note also while we're there, verse 10, And the veil of Siddim was full of slime pits, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fell, fled and fell there, and they that remained fled to the mountain. I bet you didn't know the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fell into some slime pits, were captured by slime. Is that the same slime pits that's in Los Angeles? Oh yeah, the La Brea tar pits. Yeah. Could be similar, I don't know. Could, maybe they were actually in L.A. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, the next one. The next one is Genesis 2516. Genesis 25, verse 16. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their towns and by their castles, twelve princes according to their nations. And I say castles. There were actual castles. They weren't palaces. They were castles. So if, and this is not the first time castles is mentioned. If you read the Old Testament, castles is mentioned throughout. So it's not a Parthenon, it's they had castles. They were actually castles. They were actually back in the book of Genesis. Actual castles. So in case anybody didn't know, there were actual castles. Did you know? Did you know? Now the next thing is uh, Genesis 50. Verse 2, and then we're going to go to Genesis 50, verse 26. So Genesis 50, verse 2. Genesis 50, verse 2. And Joseph commanded his servants, the physicians, to embalm his father, and the physicians embalmed Israel. And then Genesis 50, verse 26. So Joseph died, being 110 years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. My thought is, number one, embalm. And of course, everybody knows it, when they, whatever they dug up in Egypt, um, the people that were supposedly embalmed, which is just dumbfounded, all these archaeologists and scientists, and they can't figure out how they were preserved so well, these bodies, old bodies. Well, the thing is, my thought is, um, embalming Joseph was embalmed number one number two he was put in a coffin in Egypt so you know when these archaeologists they you know dig up a body oh this was King Tut you know he's in the how do we not know that Joseph is not one of these embalmed bodies that they have dug up you know I mean, and a point to go along with that, go over to Genesis 41, verse 45. Because if they found this coffin and it had the name on there, it would not say Joseph. Did you know that the Pharaoh gave Joseph an Egyptian name? It's only mentioned once in your Bible, Genesis 41, 45. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name zaphnath paneah and he gave him to wife Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. Did you know that Joseph had an Egyptian name? And if they found that coffin, see, people would think, oh, it's not Joseph because the coffin doesn't say Joseph. 
Well, they wouldn't have put Joseph on there because the Egyptians didn't call him that. They called him Zaphnath Paneah. Did you know Joseph had a different name? So maybe they found a coffin with that name on it, and that's really Joseph. He was embalmed. Thanks for watching. Did you know? <laughs>